In this video, we're going to show how the schematic would look if we were just powering up a window motor in one direction and then if we were powering it up in the other direction. And it's done here as two separate circuits just so you could see the voltages. On the left, I have a familiar lighting circuit where we're just powering up a lamp and providing 12 volts and giving it a ground. And I have the voltages labeled for when the switch is open and the voltages labeled for when the switch is closed and then the bulb lights up. But on the right, for the window motor, we have to reverse the 12 volts and the ground. So in this picture, I just drew the circuit upside down the second time to show you that you would be putting voltage to the bottom of the motor and grounding the top terminal of the motor. And then if I was operating the motor, you would see the voltages change as the switch is closed. If you look at the two drawings on the right, as I open or close the switch, you can see that the voltages change. And in this case, you would be giving power to the motor in one direction. And then on the second picture, or the one furthest to the right, you would be giving power to the motor in the other direction. And just like in any other diagnosis, if the motor was not working, our job would be to find out where are we losing the 12 volts, or where is there no ground, or is the motor itself defective. And when we get to the diagnostic portion of this program, we will investigate those in more detail.